Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Career Q, a place to curate your career. In today's video, we'll be discussing on a very important field or a very important sector in which a lot of software engineers like you, like me, we aim to pursue our careers in that domain. The domain is of web development. What is web development? What does a web developer do? How much does a web developer earn? What are the companies in which web developers get hired? What are the skill sets that are required to become a web developer? Each of these questions will be answered in today's video here. Do watch the video to the end and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first question is, what is web development? In the simplest or layman terms, if I say what is web development or what does a web developer do, then a web developer is a person who develops these websites that are there on the internet. Now these websites can be as simple as the page on Wikipedia that is a single static page and these websites can be, you know, a college websites which has flashy images, news websites and a lot more. You, you guys must be knowing or might be knowing a lot more about websites than maybe I know. So that is what web development means and that is what in layman terms a web developer does. Now the task of a web developer is further divided into three categories namely front-end developer, back-end developer and full-stack developer. Now I will explain each and every term don't no need to get all panicked and all you know how what are these now. So just watch the video to the end and you'll get to know everything. Now, what is a front-end developer? What does a front-end developer do? What are the skills that a front-end developer has? A front-end developer is a person who is responsible for how the website looks like. What should appear first? What should appear on the top? What should appear on the bottom? All of these kind of things, the alignment, the font, the color, and these kind of things when someone... Uh, Someone is responsible for these kind of development. That is, you know, the what the user will be seeing, the website on the front, the, that is taken care of by a front-end developer. Now, if you are someone who aims or who likes what uh, this job and you are eager to know as to what is uh, the skill that is required to become a front-end developer, then there are uh, basically three things or the three there are three technologies that you must, must, must know before you aim to become a front-end developer. The technologies are namely HTML, that is hypertext markup language, second, CSS, and then JavaScript. Now, these are the three languages or the three technologies that are a must for a front-end developer. There are other technologies as well, but you know that can come with experience. But as a fresher, if you want to become a web developer, specifically a front-end developer, then these are the three technologies that you need to have. These are the you know must-have or the mandatory technologies that you need to learn. Now, next in line comes the back-end developer. Now, what is the job of a back-end developer? The website, how it looks is something that is taken care of by a front-end developer, but how it functions, what all are the internal scripts and internal APIs that should be uh, coded and that should be written, all of those are taken care of by a back-end developer. Now, a back-end developer is a person who's responsible for, you know, how the website works, what functionalities it has, how it uh, these functionalities are executed and a lot more. So, these are the things that a back-end developer takes care of. And what are the technologies that a back-end developer needs to know? Now, you need to have your command in some programming language okay when I say there are a lot of websites that can be developed by C, C++, Java, other websites that can be developed by Python, PHP and a lot more. Also along with some uh, programming language or technology uh, you need to also know a framework which on which these programming languages will be executed okay. Third and the last is a full stack developer. Now what is the job of a full stack developer? A full stack developer is a person who knows it from the back end to the front end, who does all the jobs, you know, he knows the back end coding, he does that and he knows how the web website should appear, how it should look like, he knows HTML, CSS, Angular, uh, he knows Java, JavaScript, he knows everything. So a person who aims to become a full stack developer needs to know a lot of things out of which the some of the technologies that I've discussed above, those become mandatory, that is command on one programming language, knowing one of the frameworks and then you know how the appearance should look like so also knowing HTML CSS and JavaScript and all of these things so I hope that now you are clear on what web development is and what web developers are what are the skills that web developers need what are the three fields or the three domains in which web developers get further divided and what are the skills needed for each of those domains to get into each of those domains I should say next comes the question that who is hiring which is our, what is our target company now 
be rest assured that web development or a web developer is one of the evergreen domains of the IT or the software sector. Uh, this skill set or this uh, domain has jobs in service-based companies, in product-based companies, in startups and everywhere. So, you know, whether you talk about Accenture and uh, Capgemini, IBM, TCS, Wipro, web developers have jobs there. If you talk about Microsoft, Google, Apple, Amazon, these uh, web developers again have a chance to get placed in those organizations and next if you talk about you know like book my show uber ola and other startups if we talk about them then even these places have vacancies and requirements for a web developer so as a web developer you can go to an organization of your choice all you need to do is to learn your skill uh, and get better with it with time and you are done also, uh, as an additional thing, you can work as a freelancer. You can help create people websites. Now, these days with a boom in the internet and a boom in this internet technology, everyone building up a, a blog or something like that, people want their websites up and running and not everyone becomes a developer because they want a website, right? So you can work for such people. You can also take up freelance jobs and you can earn some extra money. So that is the scope of web developer, which is very versatile and very universal. The jobs are everywhere, uh, you know, in and around the country, outside the country, everywhere. Web developers are people in huge demand. Now, going to the next part, that is the salary. As a fresher or as an, uh, you know, new joiner who can be hired at three, four or five LPA in any of the service based companies or even the product based companies, the salary may be six 7 LPA maximum so you can say that from 6 from 3 to 7 LPA you can take as the range of fresher starting salary for a web developer but that's not the sad part so as an average a web developer in India a senior and experienced web developer maybe if, you know 10 years down the line 5 years 10 years down the line how much does a senior web developer uh, gets is somewhere around 30 to 35 lakh it can also go to 40 lakh so that is the scope of web development that is the scope of uh, you know web developers in terms of organizations in terms of salary perks and everything i hope that i have been able to give you a brief glimpse of what web development looks like and what is the job of a web developer how much he earns and all of it i will be continuing and i'll be making up some more series to explain in detail what web development means and what you can do if you are someone who want to pursue your career in web development or as a web developer. That's all that I have for you in today's video. Thanks for watching. If you like today's session, please put a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, do subscribe. I'll come again tomorrow with another video. Till then, keep watching Career Q. Stay tuned. Take care. Bye bye.